today we'll be making an adorable poofy fall wreath. What you will need, I have an 18 inch wreath ring, this adorable sign that says thankful, grateful, and blessed. I have a lot of deco mesh, Chanel stems, scissors or a rotary cutter, and a hot glue gun. You can also add in any additional embellishments you'd like. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to start placing my stems on the ring. I have cut them in half and I'm just going to take my stem and twist it around the outer two rings and the next one I'm going to twist around the inner two rings. Now I've done this method also using a full Chanel stem. It is definitely much easier using a full Chanel stem but again you use twice as many. Just keep in mind that they will be tighter and a little more difficult to twist it the more mesh that you add. Alright, so outer two, inner two, and I'm just going to continue alternating all the way around. So outer two, inner two, outer two, inner two, all the way around my ring. And there are multiple methods, and it also depends on the size of the wreath ring you use. This is an 18 inch wreath ring, so I have to do this one a little different than the 14 inch wreath ring. But I will link in the description box down below all of the different methods that I have used placing the Chanel stem and you can just choose which one works best for you. So now I'm going to start placing my mesh I'm going to start with the two brown rolls, layer them one on top of the other, and we're going to fold it to a nice little point. Start on my outer ring and place my mesh, and then twist it a couple of times. And I'm going to only place the mesh on the outer rings. So I'm going to make a nice little poof and come to the next outer ring and twist just like that I'm just going to continue repeating this step all the way around the outer ring and then do the same thing for the inner ring again you can have more than two stems in each section if you choose to do so you can have more mesh if you choose to do so just have fun with it and make it your own. Try to make your poofs as uniform as possible, but if they're not the exact same, that's not going to be a huge deal. And the stems will move a little. Don't worry about that too much. The more mesh you place, the more stable they will become. And once you come back around to your starting point, you're just going to make one more poof and place it in that beginning stem. Sometimes I continue on, but this time I think I'm just going to cut the mesh and start over on the inner stem. I just tuck that away. Same steps for the inner ring. Double my mesh, make a point, place it in the first stem, and twist it. Make a nice poof, and place it in the next stem. So as you can see, this is what I was talking about earlier. It is a little more difficult when you're only using half of a Chanel stem. So just keep that in mind. So I have all of my brown mesh in place and what I like to do is kind of separate the poofs a little bit just to make it a little fuller, just 
like so. Then I'm going to take my orange and white mesh, which I have cut into eight inch long pieces. Just going to roll at a diagonal. Crisscross them, scrunch, and place it in my stem. I may actually add a brown to this as well. Just like that, scrunch, pick a stem, unravel carefully because you don't want your mesh to get messed up. Place your bundle and twist it back and then tuck it away and that's the good thing about only using half of a Chanel stem you don't have to worry about tucking away a ton of stem but again it's personal preference so that's what it looks like and for each bundle I'm gonna kind of alternate which color I have on top so again rolling at a diagonal you can also roll it a cute little curl I alternate just depending on how I'm feeling. Both are cute, both are sweet. I'm gonna go to the next outer stem, unravel, place the mesh, and twist it back. And then tuck it away. Then you can kind of maneuver and adjust it. As much as you see fit. Okay, so I'm starting on the outer ring and then I'll come and add here and there on the inner ring. So I've added mesh on the outer ring and now I'm going to go around and add it to the inner ring. So I have placed all of the mesh in all of my bundles. It looks so cute and precious. You can go with more mesh in each of the bundles if you'd like. You can go with uh, longer mesh for your poofs, whatever you prefer. I just wanted to show you an option using only Dollar Tree mesh, which is the uh, six inch mesh, but you can go with 10 inch mesh, even the 21 inch mesh. I have several videos I will link in the description box down below showing you all the different ways you can make this style of wreath. But it looks so cute and precious just like this. Again. You can leave it like this or you can uh, add an adorable sign to the center, add pumpkins, ribbon, whatever type of extra embellishments you prefer. This time I'm going to add a little sign to the center. But again, several times I've left it just like this and it looks so cute and precious. But here's our adorable sign. Alright, let's get this in place and finish off our wreath. So I'm just going to cut the little hanger off of the back. Take two stems, twist them together to make one long stem for the top and one for the bottom. And make sure that they are hanging off of the side of the sign so that you can easily attach them to your wreath. And use hot glue to glue them in place. Just place my sign in the center, just like that, and push the mesh aside and attach my stem 
to my wreath ring just to make sure it's nice and secure. Just twisting it a few times. And then just hide the mesh and then just replace the mesh. I'm going to repeat this step for all four stems. adjusting my wreath making sure everything looks good I want to pull as much of the mesh from behind the sign as I can then I want to make sure there are no gaps or spaces again it looks so cute and precious just like this but you can definitely add any additional embellishments you like just have fun with it and make it your own this wreath was made with items purchased at Dollar Tree so you can make this entire wreath for less than ten dollars so cute.